Hi everyone, in this video we will create a data center and we will create a cluster and then we will add the host in a cluster. So for that this is the initial setup which we have made in our previous videos that we have ESXi host which we have installed in this VMware workstation. And now to access this ESXi host I can launch my browser and this is the IP address for my ESXi machine. And on this EXI, SXI machine, I have to give my username and password. And uh, after this, I will log in into this ESXI machine. I'll show you that we have this VMware vCenter server ready here, and which we actually have done in our previous video. And now we are going to access this VMware vCenter server, and uh, the IP address for this VMware vCenter server is. 192.168.146 and then we press enter and if you want to verify IP address you can just go here and then you can turn on this and it will show you the IP address there you can see this is the IP address of vCenter server anyway now we are here this is the vCenter server and then we are going to click on launch vSphere client and once we launch it we need to give the uh, username and password here as well Administrator vSphere. So these are the some settings which we did in our previous video. So we have to give the password to log in here. After giving username and password, we have just have to click on login, and after that, it should show us the VMware vCenter server um, user interface. So in this user interface, we will have some options here, and by using those options, we can actually create data center clusters and can add holes so now these are some things which i want to show you that this is this is the uh, this this logo is for hosts and clusters and this is for i mean this shortcut sorry this shortcut is for virtual machines and template this is for storage and this is for networking so these are the shortcuts for that so this first one is for the uh, hosts and cluster so at the moment we don't have any host added on this machine so this is vSphere client and uh, now to edit this is v VMware vCenter server we just have to click or uh, maybe right click there and when we right click there it will show us some options you can see here we can add new data center here or the new folder but at the moment we are adding new data center so just click on new data center and uh, now it shows us that uh, what what name would you like for this data center? So let's say we are setting the same data center name just data center one and then select click OK And now you can see we have a data center already here that has been added and if you want to add more then you can also say Maybe new data center in this way you can add more data centers as well But at the moment we are just adding one data center and once we have added data center, we can create a cluster within this data center. So clusters is, is, is basically a group of multiple physical servers. And when we add multiple physical servers like one ESXi machine, we can have another ESXi machine. Maybe we can have different physical servers. But within the cluster, they will be treated as a single unit. And then the cluster provides us the facility to enable um, high availability and load balancing and also this gives us a DRS facility that is distributed resource scheduler. So high availability means if a virtual machine is having some problem on one physical server, it may be moved to other as well. And system will be active. So the like um, how many, how much time in a year it will be down. So that is kind of uh, to measure the high availability. Anyway, we'll discuss theory in some other video. So we have this data center. In this data center, we are going to create uh, a cluster. So we just click, right click on that data center and then we have here the option of a cluster. So we cl click on new cluster. And now here we have to give the details for the cluster. So name you can give maybe uh, first cluster, let's say we can give it any name, just CLU, C-L-U-S-T-E-R. So this is the first cluster and this is the location where our cluster will be created. So we only have this data center. If you have multiple data center, then this will show us multiple data center option. But this is the only data center which we have created. And here, the things which we, uh, which I was discussing about this distributed 
resource scheduler and high availability if you want to enable these features then you can enable it now uh, but you can also enable it later as well so at the moment we are not going to enable it we just click on next and now this is choose a new image so it says that if you want to select an image exxi version so this is the exxi version which i have already installed like we are using at the moment this one and then we click just next and this is the review that uh, you can review the location or the name or some other features which you have selected and then we just click finish here and after this this new cluster should should be created in the data center which we selected this one so it's, it's still processing maybe after this it should show us the uh, the cluster as well so remember this is the host and cluster this is the vms and template and this is the storage so we have shortcuts we can click there to see all the details this is still processing and once this is uh, this uh, cluster is created we can we can add a host within that cluster so now you can see after a few moments after processing do you uh, have a few minutes to share some feedback um, we we don't have okay so maybe we'll do it later maybe so that was not part of uh, the uh, configurations anyway so in this vmware vcenter server we created a data center within data center we created a cluster our first cluster and within that cluster we are going to add our host so our host in our case we only have this host maybe uh, i need to close it so this is the host esxi this is the esxi machine which we'll be adding here in our first cluster and just to add again we just have to click uh, right click on that cluster and click add hosts and here we have to give the details about that host so ip address of a host so ip address of this esxi so that is 192.168.10.130 and username is root and the password which you configured you have to assign this password and after that we have to click next so now we are adding this host to this cluster cluster one and then we click next and now say that the certificate on host one could not be verified the sha's thumbprint so we have not configured any certificate we said this is what we will use so to continue manually verify the certificate yes we verify the certificate we click ok and this is the host summary here one host warning uh, so at the moment just maybe we don't focus on that maybe we have one host this host has one powered on virtual machine yes that is the vmware vcenter server so anyway we click next and uh, then we have uh, this import image optionally this is an optional feature but you can import an image from these hosts to set up as the cluster's new image so don't import that image at the moment we just select that one and uh, so no image will be imported and no changes will be made to the cluster image so we click next and then this is the last step it says that we can review these all things one new host will be connected to vcenter server and move to the cluster so yes this is the host esxi machine which we want to move to vcenter server or uh, which will be connected to vcenter server and that will be moved to the cluster which we created that is cluster one and click finish and now we should have information so you can see here it's still processing after some time it should show us this host added to that particular cluster so what we have done here is that we have this we have created data center within this data center we created this cluster and within this cluster we have uh, we have connected this uh, host that is 192.168.10.30 and that is the ip address of our esxi machine this machine and now this is still processing but these are some steps which i wanted to show you that how to create data center clusters and add host to it maybe we have here still this is processing it will take some time to converge and uh, then if we like then we can also add some virtual machines here we can create virtual machines on this host and maybe in our next video we'll see that how we can create virtual machines on this host so um, actually i'm using my laptop this is really slow and it's still processing it i actually paused the recording for a while just to uh, let it 
complete but this is not completing yet but now at least we can see here we have the data center and within data center we created the cluster within the cluster we added this host and now it shows that on that host we have this vmware vcenter server so this is what we have done here you can see on this uh, esxi host client we have installed uh, we created this v vmware vcenter server which is also shown here so now in this video we have actually used our v vmware vcenter server to create a data center within data center we created a cluster and then in that cluster we can actually have multiple ha hosts which we can add but at the moment i only have one host so i added that host and now it shows that on that particular host we have this vmware vcenter server there so in this cluster we can add more host and then once we have added multiple hosts there then cluster will consider them as a single logical unit so that's it for today. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in some other video.